I'm JBigTicket23 from GreenPCGamers.com, and in this video, we're going to show you how to install an Intel i7 7700K processor into a Precision T3620 workstation. We'll also post a link to our Precision T3620 hardware upgrade guide in the description of this video to help you locate upgrades for your Precision T3620 workstation. These are the parts that we are going to install, featuring an i7-7700K quad-core processor with a base frequency of 4.2 GHz and a max turbo frequency of 4.5 GHz. We also have a 1 gram syringe of heat paste and a Precision T3620 high-performance heat sink that is required when installing the 91 watt processors. This processor will be used at its stock performance because the T3620 motherboard does not support overclocking. Before physically installing the processor, we are going to update our BIOS to ensure that we have the latest microcode updates for our upgrade. We are going to do our BIOS update via Windows 10, so we are going to go to Dell.com, click on their support page, and you can either enter your service tag or browse all products like we are going to do. Go down to Workstations, and click on that. Go to Fixed Workstations and then locate the Precision T3620 workstation and click on that. Once you get to the Precision T3620 page, you're going to want to click on Drivers and Downloads. And then just make sure your operating system is correct. Ours is Windows 10 Pro 64-bit. And then we're going to go ahead and locate the latest BIOS update and download it. Then from there, you just want to run the program. It'll walk you through its prompts. It will reboot the system one time. It takes about five to seven minutes, and then we'll be ready to do our processor install. This is our Precision T3620 workstation that we're going to install our processor into. We're going to start by showing you how to remove the side panel to access the processor. Now that we have access to the processor, we can put the system on its side and then cross diagonally remove the existing heat sink uh, with a Phillips screwdriver. Once the heat sink is removed, we can gently remove the existing processor. Now, because we plan to reuse the existing high performance heat sink, we have to clean off the old heat paste before we reuse it. Now we are ready to install the upgraded processor. Make sure to line up the notches of the processor chip with a socket before attempting to seat the processor. We are now ready to apply some fresh heat paste and then install our high performance heat sink. We can now get our side panel put back on and get the system plugged back in to verify that our processor upgrade is working. We have entered into the F2 setup to verify that the BIOS is properly recognizing the new processor. Now we have booted into Windows 10 to verify that it is recognizing the processor properly.
If this video was helpful to you, please consider subscribing to the channel. And thank you so much for watching.